Hey guys, what's up? It's McNeil from uh, Louisa Automotive and today we're going to be talking about some of the biggest mistakes I've made uh, in this business and, and the whole idea about this video here is a subscriber who asked this question, curious to know what are some of the biggest mistakes I made. Obviously, uh, if I let you know what those mistakes are here, you wouldn't have to make the same mistakes, okay? So don't forget to leave your questions in the uh, comment section below because that gives us ideas as to what you want to know and I can make that type of content for you okay so that's what we're going to jump in today now also before we go into that don't forget to like and subscribe um every time you drop your like or your subscribe the video goes a little bit further so we appreciate that and don't forget to get your wipers in other for you to uh qualify to win the 500 in the new year anyway what are some of my uh biggest mistakes I think the easiest way to explain it is in is in different categories of mistakes, okay? So the first category would be that we're gonna talk about in this video and stick with that category is really um, trying to grow too fast, okay? So a lot of the mistakes that I made was because I was trying to grow too fast. When I first started this business, it was 2013, and then I was playing with my own money, okay? So I didn't have any interest and fees and, and, and all of the stuff that comes around with AFC and next year, okay? So uh, we were making money uh, easily. We could have had $2,000 on a car, maybe even three after we sell warranties and that kind of stuff. So the money looked good. And then the idea was, okay, if, I'm sell if I have 12 cars in stock and I'm making so much money, then what if I have 50 cars in stock? So the idea was going that I should expand the business. It didn't take me long. I think it was in 2015, we opened up the, the bigger lot. Now, obviously to sit on 50 cars on that bigger lot, um, then we started using borrow money. So that's where I would say the biggest mistake was that I grew too fast and I went in bed with AFC and next gear. Now it wouldn't seem on paper, it seemed okay. It seemed like it made sense. I mean, yes, I'm making so much money per car. Uh, if I were to use some credit, then I mean who cares if they take some interest and fees um, we both make money but the idea is I'm doing more volume so I should make more money to you would think but the idea is because you're sitting on 50 something cars um, whichever ones don't sell are collecting interest so those that you did sell even if you made money you're paying interest on those that didn't sell so you find like well I find I was always selling cars to pay debt okay and i started to technically work for afc and next gear i was moving a lot of cars but my net profits was almost the same as when i was at the smaller lot so uh getting in debt to grow your business uh especially with these type of lenders it's very tricky and i think i would consider that as one of my bigger uh, mistakes um also when i was at that bigger lot i was trying to do too much uh at one time because when i decided to um move to the bigger lot the opportunity came for me to take over the service shop because i don't know if you're aware of that uh, because i think i mentioned in the previous video when i first started i only had the 12 car lot then in 2015 like i'm saying i try to open up the 50 car lot and during that transition the opportunity came for me to take over the service shop that i was sharing the location with and i thought well that makes sense i'm in the car sales business uh, I, I have a lot of cars that requires repairs um, it, it's you know the business works hand in hand of course I should jump on that opportunity um, to take over the service shop the service shop I took over and bought over uh, with all my money and no debt and that pulled a lot of the capital I needed to expand the dealership itself and that's how I got in deeper deeper debt with AFC and next gear um, close to a million uh, dollars uh, a little over that uh, wolf of debt with AFC and next year. So, so the biggest learning there is not getting to too much debt for you to grow too quickly because uh, that basically will really, really, as much as you, it feels like you're doing a lot more, you take in a lot of steps forward to take some steps backwards because we were selling a lot of cars, AFC was making a lot of money, next year was making a lot of money, uh, but I was not seeing the net profit because uh, I was doing a lot and I had a lot of debt on my back. It was a lot uh, a more stressful time for me. So I would say, do not get yourself in too much debt to grow too quickly, okay? Um, the second part of the expansion was I, I, I have to learn to, it's something that I still struggle with a little bit, uh, but the, the delegating of task, you know, in terms of trying to multitask and doing everything myself uh, is uh, a big weakness for a lot of entrepreneurs. You know, when you hire somebody, you have to trust them to do their job that you're paying them to do. 
and not trying to micromanage everything and do everything yourself. Because when I'm trying to do everything myself, I'm taking on all the stress myself. Um, you know, you're not letting people make their own mistakes that they can learn from it. So uh, I would have hired more people quicker when I had the bigger lot. So when I had the bigger lot, I should have hired more salespeople. I should have hired maybe a service manager at the shop instead of trying to micromanage everything. Uh, it was just a little bit overwhelming for me. If I had the help, it probably could have still been open today. But I think the stress factor is one of the other bigger reasons that I had to shut it down. I didn't want to deal with that big debt on my back and the stress of trying to manage everything and everybody was a bit much for me and that's why I had to shut it down. So I think this is uh, covers enough uh, for this video here. So the takeaway is don't grow too fast unless it is your money and unless you have uh, the right team in place to help you grow. Because if you're growing and you're trying to multitask and do everything yourself, you're gonna burn out real quickly, okay? So uh, that's the takeaway in this video. Hopefully that answers your question. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into what my screw ups were and that you don't have to make the same mistakes, okay? Thanks for the question and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.